me show you how to do this. It's a beautiful way to showcase a photo with its caption. Once you learn how to do this, you'd be able to extend the same idea to showcase multiple photos and their explanation like this. The best part is this effect is surprisingly simple to create even for beginners in PowerPoint. So let us jump right in and learn how to create the effect from scratch. But before that, I am Ram Gopal from presentationprocess.com, the creator of comprehensive all-in-one PowerPoint bundle, a collection of more than 4,500 premium animated PowerPoint templates that help you create beautiful and engaging presentations in minutes. Here I am on a new slide. The first step is to insert a picture. You can get the picture from any source and place it right in the center of your slide. The next step is to insert a half frame shape. You will find that in the home, auto shapes gallery, basic shapes, and you will find this option here called half frame. Select that, hold the shift button down and draw a half frame like this. The best part about this frame is you can adjust the height and width. Can you see here? This is a nice height and I can adjust the width so they both are similar and hold the shift button down and reduce the size if you want to. And that looks pretty decent to me. If you want, you can always make some minor adjustments to ensure that the dimensions are appropriate. And once that is done, let us go to shape fill and choose a brighter color. And then go to shape effects, go to preset and choose preset 5. Now that looks beautiful. Once that is done, create a duplicate by selecting it and using Ctrl D option. Go to rotate and say flip vertical, rotate, flip horizontal and then place this so this showcases the photo. Can you see here? I've got one here in one corner and the other one in this corner. Now all that is left for us to do is to add relevant animation so this whole thing looks super cool. Let us go to animations. Let me keep the animation pane open. First, I'm going to select this half frame. Use fly in animation. Go to from bottom right as the direction. So can you see here? It goes from bottom right and reaches its place. Again, let us select this one. Choose fly in animation. This time it goes from top left. So it comes from here and it settles itself over here. Now, both of them need to happen at the same time. So let us go to the second one and say this happens with previous and let us have the duration to be one second. Now, while this flies in from here and this flies in from here, at the center point, this picture needs to emerge. So let us select the picture, choose this animation called shape animation and we need to make a few changes to effect options. First, we need to change the shape from circle to box. So that is the box animation and the direction needs to be changed from in to out. And that is how the picture reveals itself. Now this needs to happen at half the duration as the previous one. Since we started with one second for the other animation, we're going to choose half second for this and let us have this with previous, but with a delay of 0.5 seconds. Now, if you see these two half frames are coming from both the directions for one second. And since we added a delay of 0.5 seconds, right in the middle, you can see that there is this third animation starting where the picture reveals itself from the center. When I go to slideshow, you can see the effect. On a click, we have two fly-ins and the center one is shaping out as we planned. Now, if you want to add caption, you can always do so. Now, to save you some time, let me insert the caption. And I want this caption to come from bottom. So let us go to animations and say this flies in from the bottom and this happens for 0.5 seconds and this happens with previous. So when this photo reveals itself, we will have caption coming from the bottom at the same time. So on a click, you can see that is how the photo gets showcased. Now you can apply the same effect to showcase three different photos with captions as I mentioned earlier. But in this case, I'm not using fly in animation. The trick is I'm using motion path animation. So this one goes from here to here while this frame goes from here to here and it happens simultaneously. And when I go to animation pane, you can see all I have done is I have first added a fade in animation and with the fade in animation, this motion path animation is added. So that is the reason why you're able to see the effect like the one that I showed you. You can see that fade and then it goes out. 
So that is the trick involved in this particular effect. Now let me show you some creative alternatives to showcase your photos with custom animation. And these are templates taken from our comprehensive all-in-one PowerPoint bundle. The link to this product is in the description box below the video. On a click, I can have the first picture showcased with a hand writing the frame and then the picture appears right in the center. It's a very interesting way. It definitely attracts the viewer's attention. The next alternative is this where we showcase three images like a carousel in this form. Can you see it's a very different way to showcase pictures. Last option is this where we highlight three different photos and the explanation by highlighting each photo with light coming from the top. Of course, these are just few simple examples from around 4,500 different animated templates available as part of comprehensive all-in-one bundle. And if you liked this tutorial, then you will really love this other tutorial that I created way back. And this is quite popular and it is called how to create jigsaw puzzle from picture in PowerPoint 2013. Even though the version used in this tutorial is PowerPoint 2013 version, you can use the same technique even with the latest PowerPoint version and it will work exactly the same. And I've made a playlist of five such essential tutorials that you need to learn if you want to be good with PowerPoint pictures. And I will leave a link right here on your screen to that playlist. You click on the link and watch these five videos and improve your PowerPoint game with pictures. I'll see you inside that video next.